Okay, in this video, uh, we're gonna rescue this wraith model. Gruffy Crow. Ah! All right, I bought this girl a while back, just because sometimes I stand around in Games Workshop, feel like I should buy something. I think she's a banshee, technically. I uh, don't know if it's still available or not. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, I picked her up uh, with a thought to use her in Frostgrave as some sort of ghost or beastie. Uh, but I had a bunch of other ones and I never bothered to get around painting her. But that is why she's currently based on one of these lit bases that I use for Frostgrave. Ah, first problem with, I've seen is we've got plastic glue under there. Uh, so that she could be very much bonded onto this base. This might go horribly wrong. It's using the end of these old tweezers. I'm just trying to press that base out from underneath. I don't think we're saving the uh, lip base. Oh yeah, I should say, I am gonna try and repurpose her for use in Oathmark as a wraith. It's very well stuck down. I clearly did something to uh, whatever base she was originally on to trim it to fit on this base in the first place. I'm just using these old snips just to really cut away this as possible. I made some green stuff on there. I honestly don't remember did what my thought process here with this one was. All right, I've got an emery board here as well. I'm just gonna use this to make sure the bottom of this is nice and flat. Okay, and we've got an actual genuine GW base here that I've just got out of my uh, uh, base, square base box. Find a nice pose for a, probably gonna remove even more of this of integral base or whatever it is. Okay, Go in this diagonal here like that. I could use plastic glue at this point, uh, but see if it'll be a bit quicker. Oh yeah, I think I'm happy with that. And we should be able to get models around all four sides of that. So now I'm gonna use a little bit of this uh, Wilco filler, just mixing it with the tiniest amount of PVA, partly because it's been sat a little while with stuff, partly because that'll make it kind of, uh, make, makes it easier to work with. I'm just gonna use that to blend it all together. Okay, so we'll wait for that to dry, pop a bit of PVA on there, uh, pop some more sand on, and I pop another little skull on, why not? What's the Games Workshop base without enough skulls? I put the sand on, and I've given the, uh, another lick of paint. So this is, uh, I finished off the sort of black undercoat we started with, uh, made sure that was nice and even, and then just did give it a sprinkle of grey top down uh, to give this sort of a little highlight. Uh, paint wise, I think we're going to do this girl pretty simple. I've got some Cantor blue here. I think I'm basically just going to take the, take it from this blue uh, to this scar white. Just one mix at a time uh, until I'm happy with it. Uh, and I think I'll do the hair just stark white. With the clothes and the face and everything I'll do the same. Oh and the dagger, I'll do in proper metallics. Okay that's three different highlights and uh, three different versions of the same blue. And I want to keep going actually, I'm going to keep going lighter because uh, I want it to look a bit more ghostly than that. But it's working quite nicely. There we go. That was the final highlight I think that we needed. I did that with a much softer brush. And I think that's worked quite nicely. So I'm happy with sort of 80% of the mold now. I'm going to go in and I'm going to do the hair stark white. So that'll be this celestial grey uh, and then the white again. All right, that's the, uh, uh, so the grey and then I'm a 50-50. And then I'm going to pick certain sections and pick them out in the pure white. Possibly a little too much paint on my brush at the moment. I like that, that's giving it a nice, uh, a nice contrast of visual interest to the model. Leave that for a little bit and uh, do the base. So I'm just going to take that Rhinox hide, then just a couple of other browns, sort of bring out the texture. Go for sort of an earthy uh, type thing. Okay, uh, it's kind of hard to tell here, but I've uh, painted the knife in silver. And at the risk of destroying the whole model, I'm gonna try and shade it with some normal oil. Yeah, I think I got away with that, and it's giving it that bit of extra depth. When the wash dries, I'll go back in with this super shiny silver. Just while I'm looking, I'm just gonna do the teeth. The eyes in white as well. Pure white. And we've just finished the base off with a bit of static grass. Obviously that glue will dry clear and that'll all go a bit darker. And we threw some of these little dead birch leaves on as well. Uh, to sort of match it in with the rest of my undead army. Not the sort of mini I normally uh, go for or the style I normally go for, but quite a fun little uh, distraction from everything else I'm working on. And a nice effective wraith mini uh, that I'm gonna be using in Oathmark. And that's all for this video. 
please let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, maybe subscribe for more. And as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.